Thank you for coming. Thank Good you, to man. See you. Hey, by the way, I want to thank you for something specifically. Okay. You mentioned me in one of your songs. I did. Yeah, I didn't know you were that. That's so yeah, cool. I found out about it immediately. <laughs> May I read the line, or do you remember yeah, the line? Yeah, I don't really. Okay. So say it. Went into the bed, closed the lights, and dimmed the drapes. Always Matt Damon when you come Jimmy Kimmel late. Uh, yeah, now I remember it. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? Uh, it means he's a jerk, right, Matt Damon? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon gets a bad rap, man. You got to let him come out here on stage every night. You just leave him hanging. Well, yeah, and cut into your time? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> Is there? Does that mean would you kick somebody out, or what does it mean? Uh, I think the the verse that I was writing at the time is about like uh, just being tired of like spending all the time in the studio and wanting to get home. Uh -huh. and it's like. It's like you're always Matt Damon when you come home as late as this TV oh, show comes on. I love that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Please put me deep. in all of your albums. <laughs> may, I feel like be. it makes me cool, even though when I went around and told everyone about it, <laughs> everybody's like, oh, yeah, great. <laughs> you were supposed to be on tour right now, right? This was supposed yeah. to be the time. You, but your daughter was born. Yeah. And you decided to take paternity leave. To become the first rapper ever to take paternity leave. <laughs> Now, how does that work? When you're in charge, do you have to put in a request with yourself? Do you have... <laughs> how does that go? Yeah, I mean, I guess the fans are kind of my bosses, so you got to let them know. But uh -huh. uh... You let them know, what, like four days in advance, right? Yeah, exactly, like <laughs> the Monday before the first show. I made the decision. <laughs> but yeah, I already, got a, I already have a, a daughter, Kinsley. She just turned four right. uh, yesterday. and uh... She's very cute, by the way. Did Thanks, you know I, ha I ran into your mom? At a Shake Shack? She only tells me every day, so... Oh, she does, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard, though. But you could tell the story again. Well, it wasn't much of a story. We just talked, and then your daughter was there, and we yeah. had a very nice time, yeah. She, My daughter was, was there. They're around the same age. Oh, I didn't... Mm -hmm. she, she just keeps telling me about Jimmy Kimmel. Well, you know... Hey, listen, when my daughter gets a TV show, then she'll be mentioned. <laughs> but, um, you're, so you have a four-year-old daughter. Yeah. And you, well, what made you decide that, like, hey, you know what, I need some time off? It's like, it's just way harder, honestly, having two kids than having one. Yeah. You know? Yes. It, it's, you know, mathematically it makes sense, but like in my mind, I didn't really, it didn't register until I actually had two kids. Yeah. And I just, I, being honest, I couldn't leave my wife at home with both of them, with the little one and the, and the bigger one. And was she appreciative of that? Yeah. yeah. It was a group decision, <laughs> so yeah, she was she was thrilled when it when it went down that way. I yeah. would think so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not just double when you have two kids; it's exponential, isn't it? Yeah, it's very it's much 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 harder. Yeah, uh, you change diapers, you do uh, yeah. feedings, all that stuff. People make the the diaper part seem so tough. I would much rather do diapers if I didn't have to wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, right. To be honest with you. If you can make the choice between those things, there's no question you about it. You gotta do it all. So wow, so you're really very involved. It's not one of those things where you're like, hey, let's bring in the nanny, I'm headed out on the road. <laughs> yeah, the last week I, I had to come out here to LA, I, I brought my daughter with me, and uh, it was kind of like a bring your daughter to work day while I was out here, and she was super cool, and she didn't act a fool. Um, <laughs> Which is great, not saying a lot, and, but when we had to fly back home, I realized how tough it is, like, traveling with, a, with your child. She wasn't even awake. It's just it's... like she's heavy. I couldn't put her in the seat. I was just <laughs> sitting awake the whole time, just, like, kind of nodding off and then having to wake back up, so. Yeah, it's, it is hard. There's no Difficult. question about it. Yeah. Now, your brother's here. Your brother Taylor yeah. was on our yeah. show a few months ago, and he, and by the way, your brother Taylor, you guys look a lot alike, first yeah. of all. Uh, <laughs> What's yeah. And your dad is here as well. Is dad helping with the baby? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my... Uh... Your brother's on... Taylor's on your album. Yeah. Your dad co-wrote a song on the album. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you, whose idea was that? Was that his idea or your... <laughs> No, it was, that was more, that was on me. My dad actually, so they say writer when they, when you make music, but just in the music world so you know how it works. My dad plays flute, so my dad played on one of my records, and they say he wrote on it, but he didn't do the lyrics. Are you about to sing? They just gave my dad a microphone? Like, <laughs> what is going on right now? Where's your now? flute? You forgot the flute? You, you gotta, don't have anything. You I think at least a travel stuff. piccolo or something like that. So your dad's, oh, so your dad, when you're writing, they mean the music itself, yeah, not the, the lyrics. Yeah, on the, yeah exactly. My, uh, my oh. dad, since I was like, since I was really young, my dad like helped me start my whole rapping thing. That's why I'm not independent now. My dad like 
started my t-shirt business. My dad got like uh, rented out Reggie's Rock Club in Chicago, which is uh, uh, it's a bad club in Chicago. Sorry, uh, sorry live. Uh, but it's a, but it's a, he, he set me up in a lot of ways and just gave me the confidence to do it. So it's cool that he That's was fantastic. actually on the track when we made the album. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's where you learn to be a good dad from your dad. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Will you set up a gig at Reggie's Rock Club for the baby? For the baby? <laughs> She's too fresh right She's now. She's too fresh, yeah, yeah. But can you ever be too fresh when you're rapping? <laughs> I mean, I've found that you can't really. Exactly. <laughs> is it true, is it still the case that, I know you've said in the past, that Kanye West is your spiritual advisor? Yeah, Kanye's, uh, he's, man, he's so, like, uh, devoted right now. Like, he's very, uh, well versed in the Bible at this point. In he's the like, Bible yeah. specifically. Yeah, he's just he's just reading a lot and like he's memorizing passages from the Bible? I think so. I mean the way that he talks to me now, it seems like he's just had them memorized for years. But I'm wow. And to my knowledge, a lot of that stuff he learned very recently. Really? Wow. Yeah. And that but this has been ongoing for some time now. Yeah. We've he's uh this the Sunday service thing that he's doing uh and the album that comes out next week, I think, September 27th. I feel like I'm on Kanye's press run right yeah, now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but yeah, no, but he's talking about what I believe in, and, it, and it's that Jesus is king. And so he's about to drop his album, and it expresses. I know we got some good ideas. Idea. <laughs> yeah. So he's spreading the good news, and, and yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're a very devout guy. Yeah. You really are. And totally. it seems like you abide by, like, it's not just one of those. Those things that for a lot of people it is. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a. I mean, nobody's perfect. We're all just learning, you know. But it's like, I think it's a it's a crucial time that we all kind of relearn what we're supposed to be doing. I agree with you. All right. Well, Chance the Rapper is here. His album's called The Big Day. The Big we're Day. We're more with Chance when we come back. Chance the Rapper. In addition to your brother and your dad being on the album, you have. Let me go through the list. Some of the people on this album and Vogue. Yeah. They're here with you tonight. Yeah. That, I love that. SWV, another great girl group, a uh, woman group. Sean Mendez, John Legend, Death Cab for Cutie, Gucci Mane, Nicki Minaj, and maybe most interestingly, Randy Newman. Yeah, Randy Newman's Who's saying you've got a friend in me, and yeah. short people, and I love LA and all these songs. Yeah. That's, were you a fan of Randy Newman's? Yeah, a, a huge fan of Randy Newman's. Uh, outside of like his real, like, you know, obviously legendary musical career with songs like Short People and stuff like that. Yeah. He also uh, sang You Got a Friend in Me. Mm -hmm. So, like, everybody that's my age, Toy Story was the first movie I got to go see in theaters when my parents took me. Yeah, I'm 26. So, uh, I, I grew up on Toy Story, uh, Bugs Life, Cars. Like, he, he's the Disney man. And, and my yeah. album is about or based off of my wedding day. And when you get married, there's a lot of nostalgic feelings and just remembering things. So, I felt like trying to pick people from my childhood and that expressed... Nostalgia, I don't know. When you base the album on, as you said, your wedding day, yeah. are you, th on your wedding day, are you thinking about like that, that you're gonna write an album and you're recording things as you go, or do you just look back at it? It's kinda, yeah, it's, it's more like a in hindsight thing, but I do remember a specific point uh, at my wedding where uh, they were, do you know the percolator? The percolator? Do you know the percolator? <laughs> no. Uh, well, it's it's time for the percolator, and what you do is, uh huh. Oh, the percolator looks like this. It's like this. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. Yeah. We got some percolator fans in the building. So, anyways, I thought it was an appliance. Yeah, no, it's, uh, <laughs> we apply it in life. And at this at, at this wedding, my cousin B Mac. Uh, he, he hit the percolator, which is the dance <laughs> I just showed to uh -huh. the whole nation. Uh -huh. and, and, and he was hitting it so furiously um, <laughs> that, that it, I, it was clear to me that like, this was like a real uh, moment that a lot of people don't necessarily get to see every day. And, <laughs> and I wanted to get that feel, because he was very, very happy. And it wasn't his wedding. Like I said, this is my cousin. But he, was, he had this feeling of like excitement for me that just like, it was like a, a moment that I'll never forget. And he so was I percolating. To, he was like, yeah, literally, he was like, 
<laughs> and then he had boiled over, right? And eventually. It, it, it made this happen. So. <laughs> so that's what inspired you, your cousin doing the percolator. Yeah. At our family weddings, we do a dance uh, to the song Cool It Now by New Edition. I love that song. And it goes like this, cool it now, and watch out, and it goes like, <laughs> it's not quite. <laughs> it's a dance I made up, and it's become a family tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you posted something about, you were at the Laugh Factory, which is a comedy club, and your wife, did she encourage you or did she push you to get on stage? Uh, she was, she, so just a, just a fun fact. We, this was in Chicago, and um, I actually used to spend a little time at this little improv uh, spot called Thunderdome in Chicago. So, like, I, I like the comedy scene. I like to, like, hang out. And so I went to the club and um, I got wasted. And uh, I wouldn't say that my girl encouraged me to go on stage, but I would say she she let me. She gave up because I was really <laughs> bent on getting on stage that uh -huh. night. And I just felt like it was my time. And so I, I got up there. <laughs> no I, material? Do you have any jokes in mind? Yeah. So I've been, I, like I said, like I, I believe that one day I'll be a world famous comedian. I see. And so You've I have been jokes in, my in phone. a way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm doing a great job here as well too. So I feel like you know <laughs> I'm a I'm a comedic guy. So I got on stage and I had my jokes about stupid stuff. It was really really corny stuff. Do you uh, remember any of those jokes? Uh, I have a joke about uh, uh, about the the uh, the barbecue that everybody talks about with a cookout. Okay. You ever heard about the cookout? Yes, I ha that I know. So they, you know, white people do anything that's that's slightly considered black, and they get invited to the cookout. And I was, <laughs> I have like this long bit where I go into things that you'll see at the cookout. But you'll see it if you ever come <laughs> catch my 20 minute set at uh, at the Laugh Factory in Chicago. Doing it. Yeah, I'm building up. I'm gonna make a make a whole thing. Oh, you are! Wow, that's a lot of work. It might know. be called the cookout. Who knows? Well, we're gonna hear. So you've got in vogue here tonight. Yes, that's pretty great. Invoke, yes. This is one of the things where you're like, hey, I like them. I'm yeah. gonna call them and ask them to be part of my thing. Yeah. Well, like I said, like there, there was well, at my wedding, there was a lot of dancing going on mm -hmm. and a lot of like just legendary music being played. When it's your wedding day, like you gotta have the right songs. You have playing. to have the right mix. Yeah. And and they and of course, uh, in vogue was was in there and uh, I just which in vogue song did you? Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, yeah. which doesn't really make sense because I definitely got it. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> but it, it's like it's like you just play dance songs. You just want to dance hard. That's I did get it. All I right. Got it. Well, we're gonna be dancing and percolating and doing all that stuff uh, a little bit later on tonight. This is the big day. It's Chance the Rapper. We'll be right back with Cory Booker. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the Internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.